Bodyguard is a political thriller. Pleasure to meet you, Mum. It's about David Budd, who becomes Julia's personal protection officer. She is a hugely ambitious woman. The PM can count on my full support. Bullshit. Incredibly bright. She's got into politics for all the right reasons to make the right sorts of changes. She's strong, but she's also sort of flawed, been kind of damaged. She's divorced, vulnerable. You do get the sense that they just don't stop. For the Home Secretary at the moment, there's all sorts of things in the news, and it's just relentless. And also, they're on show all the time. Politicians aren't ever going to be popular with everybody. And it becomes very personal. It's the toughest job. But I wouldn't want to be a politician. <laughs> you just can't win! Home Secretary, just how anxious... She's very good at public speaking. And so I watched an awful lot of Amber Rudd. I watched an awful lot of politicians. You know, they say in times of national emergency, the first casualty is free speech. There's a very particular way of giving speeches and actually speaking to people and giving interviews. Only those intent on acts of violence have anything to fear. They don't seem to have conversations with people. They just keep telling you their point of view. And, Andrew, I certainly do not miss the tyranny of Saddam Hussein. My main prop was my red box. The Home Secretary has to keep this next to her at all times, which someone thought would be a good idea to make it out of solid wood. So I spend a lot of time going, oh, so pick it up and put it down. So you also have your handbag and other things with folders in them, <laughs> so I was like that by the end of it. Quite a funny moment for me when I realised I'd worked with Richard when he was a child. <laughs> He's brilliant at his job, he takes it very seriously, but at the same time, we had a laugh. There's a scene, we're coming down the stairs, and I'm introduced to lots of people, and all the way down the stairs, I just hear him trying not to laugh. Pose is the greatest... During the speech, we had a few actors to protest, then an actual protest <laughs> kicked off outside. Some students throwing flyers off a balcony and sort of shouting in the, in the hallway next to where we were shooting. And then someone said, come on now, that's enough of that. And it was all very British, and they came down and picked them all up. Coming to you now, just obtain details from each of them, please, you can. The principal wants to thank us for being heavy-handed.